Right now, to help Ukrainians escaping violence, CBS2 is partnering with the Illinois Broadcasters Association to raise money for UNICEF in support of Ukraine. Today is the last day of that fundraiser. CBS2's Marissa Perlman is live at the Ukrainian Institute of Modern Art, where you have about an hour left to donate. Marissa. Yeah, Brad, just shy of $150,000 have been raised so far. This is such a huge effort that's been happening here all day long. And if you can believe it, it's been just about two months since that first Russian attack on Ukraine. And those with family ties to Ukraine worry now about something called war fatigue. They worry that the interest in supporting this war may be no longer. With this war has no sign of slowing down. The fact that they have escaped is nothing short of a miracle. Victoria Cooper says two months into this war, she's never stopped worrying. Her family lived like this for 30 days in Chernihiv while the city was occupied by the Russian army, hiding in cramped quarters, given a bucket of water daily. Her parents' home now destroyed. We were all very nervous. Part of me also wanted to not believe it. We're going to be here till 11 p.m. Central time, so until midnight if you're listening in. At the Ukrainian Institute of Modern Art, Steve Robinson with New Media Productions broadcasts for hours, raising thousands of dollars for Ukrainian children. Victoria says this work matters to her family. In the face of such violence that the world has kind of forgotten them. But in the face of conflict fatigue, she worries this support won't continue as the war has shown no sign of slowing down. I'm afraid that Americans or Western society as a whole will, will want to get back into their more comfortable lives. And in Daly Plaza with violins, protesters lay out shoes and toys as a reminder of the hundreds of kids who have been hurt in this war and the 186 who have been killed. Tanya Sampali with Help Ukraine Together. They are covered in paint to represent the torture and the pain all of the families and children went through. Both women say they will never stop fighting to end this war and hope the Chicago community continues its support too. This massacre must be known and stopped. Every generation of Ukrainians has to fight. It seems like this particular generation is dying for it en masse. Yeah, this call to action to donate to UNICEF has been going on here all day. The money will help create migration centers for those who have been forced to flee the country. Again, the goal here, $150,000. We're live in the Ukrainian village tonight. Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Marissa, thank you.